Hi, welcome to our show. Welcome to my show, uh, Loving Life, Loving People with Vlad Freeman. And uh, all right. Hello, everyone. This is Vlad, Vlad Freeman. And uh, this is my show, Loving Life, Loving People. And this show is being broadcasted thanks to my loving uh, director, musical director, Lauren, Hope of Glory and her channel on YouTube, Moving on TV. Uh, Moving on TV is part of Moving on Theatre. And this is a theatre for the people. This is a theatre for all those who are talented and yet they have suffered or are suffering right now, going through different challenges in these difficult times. But today I'm here not to talk about problems, but I'm here to talk about encouragement and how we can all together uh, uh, deal with uh, uh, the situation the way it is and still dare to dream, dare to hope, dare to love, dare to fight. Hey Vlad, how are you? Well, Hi Lauren. Oh, <laughs> loving life, loving people. <laughs> yeah, I'm very well, thank God, and you? <laughs> I'm really good, it's really good to see you here. Yeah, good to see you too, you look fat, by the way, you. younger, thank younger, you. it's because of the younger, ballet. Of course, I'm getting younger every day, so are you. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. of course we are, we're getting younger, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're from the same kind, apparently. The same kind, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about this film that you made, uh, which looked really, really exciting. So um, can you tell us a little bit about it, what part, what you were doing in it, and who else was in it? So I'm going to pass, the, pass it on to you now. Yeah. Do you mean the latest one where I was featured in the main role, the lead role of, uh, you know, where I was uh, acting? Yeah. In? playing as like a general, like a, yes. yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, cause there was another that. one. Yeah, there was another one prior to this one that's on Netflix right now with uh, the Indian megastar uh, Parinetti Chopra. So I was wondering which one you were talking about. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about that one first and what you played in that one and then go on to the one where you played the general. So everything yeah. we need to know so people can go yeah. watch the film. So Tom, yeah. it's at the moment. Yeah, yeah, what no worries. So... Yeah, I was uh, very, you know, I was very blessed to, to uh, play and act alongside uh, this, uh, you know, great Bollywood star, Parinetti Chopra. And uh, you can see the references on my Instagram. It's uh, Vladim Freeman. Uh, that's my Instagram. And uh, basically, we had such a good time because uh, um, we were featured in... Uh, the Girl on the Train, that's the title of the film, and it's on Netflix. Uh, and uh, basically, it's a very nice, uh, interesting story, uh, very poignant, uh, but very hopeful. I mean, f- filled with hope. And uh, I was basically the defendant's lawyer. He was in a very tough position, very, very tough position. So he needed both um, a very professional, good lawyer, uh, but also one that could, could really sympathize with his pain and with what he has gone through. So... Uh, Can I stop, just stop you there a second. So this yeah. is the film that's gone on Netflix, The Girl... Yeah. The, girl the Girl on the Train, yeah. This is a different film because there was a film a I know. called The Girl on the Train. I know. Murder. This, this is a this different is the Bollywood. film. The, yes, this is a, uh, a newer film. Uh, I think it was out just... Uh, less than a year ago uh, mm-hmm. on Netflix. Yeah, and it's a different one. Yeah. Wow, uh, I don't know why Bollywood has decided, have decided to do so, uh, to basically have the same name, but uh, maybe, you know, they've got their own, uh, you know, strategy or idea. I don't know. It's not my business. Okay. <laughs> so this is the anyway. first film we're talking about is The Girl on the Train and Vlad's in it and you play a lawyer. Yeah? Yes. Yes, okay, and this right. is so That's much me. This is so much me, Lauren. You know, because uh, you know me. You've known me for almost two years now, uh, due to you know to the musical, to the one that you wrote, and uh, the one that you inspired us all to be part of. Uh, you know, and encounters for all those who don't know it. Please go online. 
uh, and uh, on YouTube, and you can find some videos of both of our uh, own rehearsals as well as uh, some of the original uh, uh, play, uh, like back in a few years ago. And you will be amazed. It's a very nice story. So uh, yeah, uh, and uh, I was telling about myself. So it comes very natural to me, you know, to both be very serious as well as very empathic and sympathetic to this guy. And this was something that I had to display very well uh, without words, uh, especially the part where he was like uh, basically roasted by the prosecution and the, the main prosecutor is actually Perinetti Chopra. So I was the main, uh, you know, lawyer of the defendant. And we were basically in uh, uh, a sort of a, a opposition. So on the one hand, you can see the merciless uh, prosecutor who cares only about the facts and, uh, uh, and maybe not so much of a facts. We live in such times nowadays, you never know what is a fact, what is, what is a lie. And uh, on the other hand, me, the lawyer, uh, trying to find the, the middle ground, trying to, found the, to find the balance, to be both truthful, objective, as well as uh, sympathetic and uh, compassionate to my client. So this all has had to be shown without words, which was a great challenge to me. And, uh, but I think that uh, according to- uh, Sorry, hang the, on a sec, you didn't have yeah. any lines? Not in this uh, particular moment, not okay. in this particular moment, because this, yeah. Uh, but uh, to me, this is the most special part of the film, you know, because it was mm -hmm. all about reactions, expressions, uh, showing emotions, very subtle emotions, and finding the good balance of it all. So wow. I'm, I can tell I'm, pr I'm a little proud of it. <laughs> and That's thankful fantastic. To, to God, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're uh, all gonna go on Netflix. Um, I'm not on Netflix, but is it on Amazon Prime as well? Can you find it, do you know? Maybe, maybe, or if you just type in the name of the title of the film, you know, with right, Barinette okay. and Chopper, probably it will give you uh, what are the other options, where okay. else you can, you can see right. it, yeah? A lot of people are on but Netflix. On, so my Instagram, gonna... yeah, on my Instagram, I have uh, played uh, this uh, short uh, video uh, that's uh, focused especially on this part, you know. So okay. anyone, uh, including you, I, I know you've seen it already. You've yeah. watched it, but uh, you can go and see it. Uh, <laughs> what's, yeah. what's, what's your Instagram, Vlad? Uh, it's Vladim Freeman, because I'm a Freeman. I was... Uh, Vladim Free man. Free man. Yeah. But right. free, free man. Free man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, Vladimir mm -hmm. Freeman. Uh this is my artistic name, Freeman. My original uh surname is Mladenov, which means young or uh uh an infant, like baby Christ, you know, the infant. Mm -hmm. Uh and I I think it suits me so well because I'm I feel so young in the spirit. Yeah, people tell me young. all the time that I look much younger and you, yeah, uh, we're getting this. younger certain people are getting younger and exactly stay focused. exactly yeah. Stay focused. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh. getting close to I'm getting close to 50 you know as people think still think especially when I'm shaved they say that I'm 30 or 29 or 35 yeah. Yeah. yeah and I say yeah. thank God so it's, whenever, the, it's the spirit so. you know it's the spirit inside us as the you, the ancient Greeks they put it very well uh, a strong spirit means a strong body and i can paraphrase it and say a young spirit means a young body too our yeah. bodies are very much affected by the way we live and by the way we believe okay can i bring you back again because i want sure. to focus at the moment yeah I say whenever anyone asks me my age now i say do you want it in star seed age in cat age or when i was born 10 years ago when i had an awakening what age uh, like the, the age I decided yeah. to be <laughs> five like Bonnie million you remember trillion that? years old. <laughs> you remember honestly. that song of uh, Bonnie M? Bonnie M, the great Bonnie M. Uh, yeah. The disco stars. Uh, I was born again. They have a song like this. Oh, yeah. Right. You know yeah. when they ring up, when they ring up and they want to get money off of you, and they say, "What's your birthday?" I always say that. I say, "Well, I'm five million trillion years old. I'm a star seed. They, they don't know what to do. They say, I'm not 
for you again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. coming back to focus. Right, so this is the film you made. What year did you make that film? Uh, this was uh, 2000, uh, uh, let me, if I'm not wrong, 19. I have to look at my uh, filmog filmography. 19 or 18, the end of 18. I'm, okay. Yeah, I need to double check. Yeah, because it, it, takes, where was it, it takes a while for such, uh, especially for featured uh, films to come up on screen. You know, any, any, anything between uh, an year and two years. Uh, I know, because I, I did the title credit song for a film called Red Call. Okay. And it's only coming out. It will be coming out soon. Um, a friend of mine directed it, Steve Goff. And Ooh, the title I can't song wait to see it. at the end. Yeah. And listen but to coming it. Coming back to you, Vlad. Yeah. Where was it filmed? What? Where did you actually film this? We actually filmed this, especially this particular uh, scene. You know, in a real uh, British court downtown London. Actually, okay. yeah. So Bollywood, they have uh, rented this uh, real court, so everything was real. No, uh, no setup, no decor. You know, real, yeah. real stuff, the real deal. Yeah. So it felt so, so formidable. <laughs> uh, it's exciting, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah. Connection to Bollywood. I have another connection. Is I interviewed Jagat Singh, and yeah, part of Devdut. Um, the who killed who tried to kill Buddha, and he, yeah, uh, did you see that on Netflix? The life story. No, no. Yeah, if Jagat you could send Singh. me a link, and I would love yeah. to. If you can, yeah. uh, if, maybe if we can get in touch with this uh, person, I would love to because I have a special yeah. feeling for uh, the Indian people, you know. Yeah. And uh, I was actually even invited to uh, go to India to film a film, but due to the uh, so-called pandemic. Uh, uh, everything just went bust. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay, so I'll so... be very happy to meet this person. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Jagat Singh, he's lovely. I think he's on he's on my Facebook. But uh, I know you know only lovely people because uh, this is the law of attraction, right? He you tried to kill Buddha. He tried to kill Buddha, <laughs> and we we had a big discussion about how did it feel, and uh, when he dies, it's a, it's a, there's an interview. I'll send it to you. The interview okay. with him, also Please. from it's a few years ago. Anyway, coming back to you, Vlad. So that was the first film, the one that's going on Netflix now. Yeah, you just made another one where you yeah. the general. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to tell us about that one now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, film is actually a revolutionary, revolutionary one to me. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not just because. It's no, it has nothing to do with me uh, having the lead, the lead role, you know, uh, I just uh, uh, was uh, blessed uh, to be selected, you know, by the casting team. And honestly, uh, this was like even a more challenging role to me because uh, I really had to play uh, a person, a character that's very, very far away from who I really am, you know. Uh, being a general, being, uh, uh, you know, the good part is that this general was a different one. He was an enlightened general. Uh, he was one who already knew uh, where he's coming from and where he's going to be, you know, one day. He uh, has experienced, uh, you know, his own personal, um, uh, you know, conversion and just like you and uh so he was not the typical uh type you know like a too serious uh merciless um you know blunt uh awful maybe tyrant type of uh, general and yet he was a very serious one because he knew that his battle the battle that he uh have that he was supposed to lead uh the stakes were much higher than in just a normal everyday uh combat um actually the battle is about truth about the things that m matter most in life and it's a very fine uh and uh deep allegory you know uh maybe a little bit something like uh, the classics of uh the classic uh, of john bunyan's uh the pilgrim is the pilgrim's progress 
maybe something like that. I think that there's some ideas taken from, you know, by the screen screenwriter, you know, from uh, from here and there. But um, yeah, I love I love the idea, and uh, I love the team, uh, most of the crew, and uh, the supporting artists. Uh, they are from uh, uh, different African countries. So I was, uh, yeah, I was in love with these people. Uh, and I believe that nowadays, you know, this film can shoot straight for, uh, you know, for a great success because it um, ticks one of the major uh, boxes uh, for diversity, you know, and uh, equality and stuff like this, uh, things that have gone too far. But uh, I love I love my colleagues. I love my director Shagun and uh, uh, the chief producer Iron and uh, um, also Emmanuel. My uh, oh, hang on a second. Sorry, is this Pastor Iron that's involved? Yes, yes. And yes. Emmanuel, what? Okay, yes. what's the name? Because we know um, the song that. Uh, Legendary secretary that you <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know, the Bubba yeah, Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was written to celebrate Pastor Aaron's birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, but What's the name but of this, this uh, film. This uh, film, this is not part of the uh the film songs. Actually, there is another major tune uh that goes with the song, and uh, actually the best is yet to come. Uh I can't wait to tell you all, but I'm trying to keep this long story short. Okay. So uh, the film, you know, we started to film the film uh, downtown London. Uh, there were quite a few different and interesting um, uh, sites. Uh, I think people loved the vault, the vault site because this was a real vault. Uh, I mean, like the ones that keep uh, things for billions, maybe of pounds, you know, and uh, production, you know, hired the, the spot for just for an hour or so, so that we can film the part. And uh, two black uh, friends, uh, uh, like men in black, uh, not just in black suits, but they themselves being black, uh, they entered the vault to find the, one, the greatest treasure on earth. Okay. And, uh, you know, the code, the code that will tell people what this life is all about and okay. why, why we've been so, facing so much trouble. Thank you. We'll move on in a minute to the Patreon interview. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I but know. So I'm... what's the name of this film? It's uh, called The President's Speech. The President's Speech. And uh, yes, and uh, because uh, the, the initial trailer and the first uh, two episodes uh, were uh, welcomed so, so uh, with such an excitement uh, from uh, all sorts of people, uh, because, uh, you know, like uh, the, 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 the director of the production and uh, uh, Shagun, you know, he's the director of the film and the screenwriter and all the production, they've got uh, uh, connections worldwide so the the good the word the good word the good news spread very quickly, and uh, once uh, they realize that this is going to be uh, a really nice uh, and major project, you know, the initial idea was just to be a short film and to go to the festivals, but now uh, more and more, you know, the uh, directors and the production they think about making it into a proper featured film, uh, especially after. We've been honored, you know, uh, myself and uh, the rest of the crew and, of course, the, the supporting artist and the, ma the main supporting artist, uh, Emmanuel, uh, to uh, visit um, uh, Nigeria and uh, to make a live spectacle. I mean, spectacle. Yeah, like singing, dancing, um, uh, reciting, uh, acting playing you know Fantastic. i just can't wait <laughs> for the going. world to see for the world to see what we did there it was crazy it was light it was beautiful and uh, there were more than a hundred people involved uh in this uh, to making it to make it happen and i'm telling you it was glorious glorious that sounds amazing 
Okay, yeah. so we're going to, what we're going to do now is we're going to end this interview. And guys, if you want to follow the more controversial interview that we're going to do, which is going to go deeper into some of the truth that you need to know, then you need to follow us on Patreon, Moving On TV Patreon. There will be a link here. Um, so this is, thank you, Vlad. This has been Loving Life, Loving People, which is Vlad's show. And maybe My you pleasure. Could on, maybe you could bring them on and interview them about the film, like a group of them or something. That'd be really cool. And yes. You could put it on your show. But I'm going yes. to pause now. So we're going to go into uh, the next part of the interview. So thanks for joining us, guys. Please subscribe to Moving On TV on here, YouTube. Contact us, TV one at gmail.com. If you want to go on Vlad's show, then contact us at movingontv1 at gmail.com and just put Vlad's show in the subject and then you'll get an interview with him instead of me. So take care. And please, I hope you can join us on the Patreon interview where you just really you just have to pay between one pound and whatever you can afford a month. And that helps us to keep moving on TV going. Okay. I love it, guys. I love it, guys. I've subscribed. And I'm Thank telling you, you <laughs> such a, it's okay. such a great, such a great, in, such a little investment for such a great cause. So Thank it's you. worth it, guys. Go ahead, subscribe <laughs> and do your best. Thank you, Vlad. Welcome to Moving On TV, the new TV channel for us. Steve.